fuck boys. Oh yeah, maybe it's Monday morning. But baby, I got you. Maybe it's Monday morning, but baby, I ain't so blue. Can is fucking blue, though. Look at that. Look at that shit. Oh, it's fucking awesome. Stuff. Stuff's the best. Love it. Um, yeah, it's fucking Monday morning. Happy Monday morning, everybody. How's it all going? I'm not doing so bad. Um, I'm going to have lunch with my children today. That would be nice. My daughter's uh, fresh off a vegetarian cooking camp. So she's a certified vegetarian chef now. Which is pretty fucking awesome. She's not really, but she, she went to cooking camp. So that's cool. Very proud of her. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, you know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I wanted to do a, another dip review this morning, but I just really wanted to have a, a pinch of stokers. And I don't need to review that again, but uh, you, all, you all know I like it. But uh, I've got a bunch of cans I'm looking at right now. And there's a. Uh, I gotta have my wintergreen throwdown. I think I know which one's gonna win, but I've had a dip on most. Um, there's only I've had a dip of two of them. Uh, I tried the Timber Wolf, which I did a review of here, and I've tried the Grizzly, straight up Grizzly wintergreen, because that seems to be the dip of choice for many many dippers in the states and. I got to see, I had to see what all the hubbub was about, you know. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I've had winter greens I like better, but pretty damn good. I tell you. Those gri the grizzly dips are good. They're, uh, they're really good. They're very, uh, they're really strong. Like they, they taste, they taste really good. Um, that dark select one, like a bit, I got, this one's really special, you know. This one here. Not only is that can fucking awesome as hell. This is a really awesome dip. Like I've never like the closest thing I can pin this on is um what I See, what I think is uh, this dark thing means, like, sweet, really sweet, you know, um, yet mellow, you know, and uh, because I think you know, in, in, in the States, uh, they have, uh, like, a lot of the, the the dips have, like, like you know, dark attached. Like, they, they have, like, like uh, I'll show it here. Okay, like, got Grizzly Wintergreen, right? This is straight up Wintergreen. Fucking good. And then you got this uh, here. Premium dark wintergreen, right? Same brand. It's still wintergreen, but it's this premium dark, right? So what I think that means is, um, you know, in Canada, we have a product here called Skull Dark, right? And it's really just a natural, a natural dip. It's really, really sweet. Um, 
it's just like a can of long cut natural uh mixed with like brown sugar or something that's what i said it always tastes like brown sugar you know it's really sweet it's really dark and it's really mellow it's really good i like it a lot but i'm gonna get kind of sick of it time now but <coughs> it's not bad you know Mm-hmm. Mm. I put in a fucking wad this morning, man. Ah. But yeah, so I think this dark this means natural and sweet, right? I think the Canadian connection is what we got the missing link over here in Canada with school dark, right? So I have a can. Believe it or not, I don't have a can at my immediate. Wait a second. Yes, I do. I have a can on it. It's going there. It's empty, but um, yeah, I just think it means natural and sweet. So, what I think about this one is this tastes like kind of a mix of like if you mix something like this with a little pinch of straight you know what i mean so because the thing i like, the thing about straight dip it's really good i like straight dip a lot from time to time as i've said um I really like Stoker's straight. Now, Stoker's is the anomaly. Cause Stoker's is a really in-your-face, very strong straight dip. But I just like Stoker's dip. I just like the way, I just like everything about it. But, but um, the thing with a lot of, like, Skull Straight and Copenhagen Street is really, it's, it's, you know, Skull Straight especially. Very, um, it's just really root beery. You know what I mean? And, uh, which is good if you like root beer from time to time, you know, but, but this stuff is like, it's like, just like a really sweet natural with a little pinch of straight put in, like just enough. And it's fucking incredible dip, man. Like, it's like, I don't know, Hillary said that she's never seen it since this was like a two for one special, uh, limited run, I think. And, uh, man, it's fucking amazing dip. It's like. I've already ripped through half this can. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ripped through. I got like two lips left for this can, maybe one and a half. Yeah, oh, fuck. I thought I had more of that. I guess I was sharing it with Tyler yesterday. That's cool. But uh, it's awesome. It's an amazing dip. Anyway, I'm kind of going uh, uh, dip, dip, dip. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm just waking up. And, you know, Hillary sent me all these cans of snuff to talk about them, so, talking about them. <coughs> this, this skull, or this grizzly, uh, long cut, man, this is really good. It tastes a lot like Stoker's. It's very pepperminty. That's what I like about Stoker's. It's fucking black. It's like fucking, it's like chewing gum intensity. You know what I mean? It's like really, really pepperminty. And so is this. Now, the difference between this and Stoker's. Stoker's has this really rough, rugged, long cut, super long cut that I've showed you before. You know, you can, I didn't even pack this can. You can pick up a wad like that, just pick it out of the can, you know. I can put that right in, right in my, cram that right in my fucking mouth, you know what I mean. Now, Grizzly is, um, the cut is, it seems like a really, f like, it's like a mid to long cut, kind of, I didn't pack this can either, let's see how big a pinch I can get out of it, yeah, I can only get a pinch like that out of it, you know, um, no, this stuff fucking tastes great, it's amazing, and, uh, the nicotine level's super high, so if you're looking to just have a dip that'll last you, last you through the morning or whatever, um, Grizzly's the way to go. It's like, 
blammo nicotine. It's like super high in nicotine. From what I can tell. Anyway. Um, but yeah, the, the difference between Stoker's Mint and this mint, other than the nicotine level, they're both pretty high in nicotine, I think. But um, they don't mark it on the cans in America with the nicotine strength is. But <coughs> um, Grizzly, it, it's got a cut. Like, it's really... It seems to be very similar to the Kodiak cut. Like, it's very uh, thin. <coughs> you know, as, as like, the, 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 the mint or the wintergreen in it really kind of is what's really strong. And it kind of rips your, not rips, but, like, you know, roughs, roughs up your gums, you know. Um, but the, the, the texture is kind of muddy. Like, it's like a... It's such a fine, like a thin cut, and it's like a mid to long cut. So it's not like a big hanging gob of stuff. It's like, it's, it, you know, it's like no, more, no, it's not as, Stoker's is an anomaly in depth. It's like super long, you know. Whereas Grizzly gets a little bit muddy in your lip because it's a little finer cut. So I'm, I'm just kind of repeating myself, I think. But yeah, that's the difference. But it's fucking awesome. Great, great. I never tried Grizzly products before uh, last week. And uh, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Grizzly. Yeah, I like it a lot. I've tried three of them so far. And they're all fucking really good. So There you go. Dip porn for the fucking morning. Um... Yeah, okay. So I guess I did do a bit of a bit of a dip review here. Uh, the difference between the Grizzly and Stokers. But yeah, anyhow, I'm going to wrap this up. I got to get cleaned up, shaved and shit. But uh, yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back soon with more music or more, more dip talk or something. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm It's Monday. Feel good. Stay free. Have a great week. I'll be back. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Be well and stay free.